Why, hello there and welcome back to more hearts. So wait a second, cover your nips up, man. You're gonna get me age-gated. But anyway, today we're back in the Great Walmart. And as you can see by this cool logo, either that's a very bad graphical issue or someone's got a modern art degree. Now before we start, I just wanna give a quick shout out to everyone that's been subscribing recently and the whole, you know, tripling in size over the course of like two weeks. But anyway, now that's out of the way, leave a like for more Hearts of Iron 4 and hey, maybe I'll be at like a million subs in no time. So there's been quite a few flavoursome additions to the mod since the last time we played. Like this little leech attached to Germany. Oh wait, no, that's Bavaria. Jeez, silly me. Ah, but the, the, the mod creators decided to add in good old Tunisia because, you know, that's important. But yes, as you probably saw by the video and spoiled it for yourself, I'm going to be playing as the USA. More specifically, as this fat fuck over here. And I know you're probably all crying like, oh, the USA did nothing in World War One. But that's the whole point, isn't it? We're gonna have some fun! So yeah, we start off with an island for an economy, which, you know, makes sense because some have actually confused William H. Taft as an island. As you can see, we've got all the usual boring, generic developments and crap like that, and I'm sure we'll gobble, the, gobble right through the won't we, Tafty? Gobble, hey? But anyway, we've got a bit of catching up to do. First off, we've got to invent the saw, which, you know, has been around for quite a few thousand years now, but America's just catching up. Uh-oh, a really important development in the world. The Albanians are revolting. Yeah, they're absolutely fucking revolting. Just kidding, I'm sure they're wonderful. Uh, so here we go, we're starting to finally get around to both training and getting some new equipment for all our troops, as you can see. We we've got quite a nice army. We've got an army made out of hats. You know, I just didn't realise this this game was based off Team Fortress 2, really. But I think it's time we got rid of the two hat divisions and instead get the actual infantry divisions, which consists of four hats, I know. <laughs> oh, ooga, 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 American discover handheld saw. I guess now we can finally discover the hammer, yes. Oh, I know where this is going. I'm not getting fucking Pearl Harbor. So you give them a little bit of leeway and they'll take it all. So we're, we're, we're gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and say no. Ooh, fortunately though, that did make the Japanese just a little bit angry at me. But hey, look, at least they don't have good old Hirohito in his triple chin. Oh, now this is what I'm talking about. It's time to give some freedom to everybody, really. Ah yes, America leading the way, they've discovered the hammer and now they're gonna research the wheelbarrow. Oh, the Mexicans are at war with each other. I didn't know this was the modern day mod. <laughs> Please don't behead me. Oh, it seems Germany finally went to the doctors and got rid of that leech problem. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, wait, sorry. I keep, I keep getting it confused. Bavaria. As you can see, we're successfully plodding our way through. Oh, sorry. Gobbling our way through all these focuses. And I think uh, we need to bring it a bit, you know, topical. Trump. Donald. I, I, I don't care. Uh-oh, I've just noticed something quite imperative. It appears that good old Chandelier Man has invaded another mod. God damn it, get back to Kaiser. Uh-oh, China's at war with China. S uh, summon Wen Wong? <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Sorry, I didn't realise they were at war with E.T. Oops. Oh no, the Italians are invading the most important and most resourceful part of the world. Libya. Oh, it looks like E.T. not only phoned home, he just fucked off back to the moon. Ah, yes. Finally, we have full rearmament, and we're, uh, you know, we now we have a toaster for an economy instead. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. Just, um, just, there were no American ships around there at all. Yeah, quickly, we, we need to port back up before they complain. We need to, you guys didn't see nothing. There was not there was, no. Ah, uh, see, you gave you gave me an option there, but then you took the option away and just put, you just said we will attend. I don't want to attend. And have you, have you not seen the president of the United States? William is in no shape to run a marathon, all right? Okay. Uh oh, some global tension is arising in the Balkans. You know. Like every other playthrough. Ah, oh, but isn't that cute? Serbia would let me join their faction if, you know, I wasn't be being com completely carte blanche by a very annoying system. I want, to, I want to be in on this. Oh, look at this. New Zealand's got themselves a camera. Oh, God, that's a bit of a blurry photo there, New Zealand. I didn't want to... Well, in a surprise turn of events, Italians aren't that good at war. Jeez, who would have, who would have funk that, really? I mean, all the rest of the Balkans successfully beat the Ottomans, but, uh, you know, Italy. 
Uh, at least just not ready yet. Whoa, what's that? William Taft lost some weight? No, he, he didn't eat his competitors? No, he probably just had a heart attack and now Woodrow Wilson's in charge. Oh, there goes me jinxing it again. The Balkans are now at war with each other. You just can't win, can you, with these guys? Oh, what's that? Another civil war in Mexico that I totally didn't have to cheat in because I forgot to do the national focus. Oh, for God's sake, I might as well just rename this to as who's at war with Turkey and the Balkans today. What's that? Mass production. I thought we got Willow rid of William T <laughs> Fat jokes. I I've got 12 more. Oh, I've, uh, I've uh, apparently deforested all of Russia importing all their woods and now I'm working on the Amazon. Yeah. Ah, uh, this time I remembered to do the focus, so let's go ahead and liberate Mexico, shall we? And by liberate, I mean, you know, take all their land. You get what I'm gonna do. Well, you know, now that William Taft's out, though, we can finally make a bit more room in the country to build some factories. I mean, he did take a lot of space. Oh, those barbarians of Europeans. Look at them fighting with each other. Meanwhile, uh, <laughs> you know how it is. Come on, guys, just give peace a chance. You don't have to invade Belgium. You don't have to invade anybody in the world. Uh, aha, I'll have you know, we're actually caught up to date now. Look, we invented metal helmets. Yes, we did it. Oh, looks like the war's definitely going to be over before Christmas, or maybe Britain will just get wiped out like Belgium is. What's that? Armoured cars coming to the front line, damn right Mexico. Whereas Taft would have sat around and done nothing, Wilson's definitely getting on on this. Oh, the, uh, the British aren't doing too well in Africa either. Uh, well, you know, if you hit. Oh, don't worry, Mexico. We're just gonna peacefully occupy some territories while, while you get your stuff together. Uh, mostly just gonna occupy all the provinces with resources, but that's just a very weird coincidence. There you go, nice and safe Mexico in the loving embrace of, uh, well, you, come on, you don't look Mexican at all, you, uh, <sighs> hmm, might be a little bit early for that, but, uh, I guess the Soviets are here. Ah, uh, yes, we're, we're neutral, guys, trust us, we haven't invaded uh, Mexico or anything like that. We're totally neutral. We don't want to get involved in any wars. Wink. Oh dear, with the whole Russian Revolution thing, this wood's not really coming to us all the time, so we're going to have to outsource our wood buying to China. Oh, Donald Trump went like that. As you can see, we're slowly no longer gobbling, but plodding our way through our national focuses, and we can go down pacifism. We can even apologize for slavery. Uh, um, I don't know, but not just yet, because, you know, I did just enslave Mexico. I think, I think we're going to go down, down the other route, though, and just, we'll, we'll put that one on hold for now. Oh, apparently New Zealand just told me that they've got a new camera. Oh, look at that, it's a much better camera. Bad news is they gave the old one to Australia. Oh, oh dear, it appears that Russia's gone and the Soviets have given all this land to Germany. Oh, it wait. They've even given them this bit of land. That's a bit, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Germany, land gra- Oh, oh, okay, I don't- Whoa, what's, what's my new flag? What? what? Oh. Oh, 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 no, how did, how did that happen? I'm ruled by the same guy as Mexico? Oh, oh, that was a, that was a weird dream. I was, I was ruled by the same guy as Mexico, and I feel like I was a bit more racist than usual, but I've, I've woke up and I've got a justification on Germany? That's a bit... Okay, I'll take it. I mean, it's not exactly Serbia's one, but I guess I'm it. Ah, uh, yes, the war's going great, as you can see. There's a big sludge over... Oh. Well, um... Okay, then. Japan. Well, maybe I spoke a bit too soon for Soviet Russia, because, well, Russia has just spawned out of them, and they've also gone to war with the Allies, which I don't know if that's going to go too well for them. Uh, here I go again, cleaning up Europe's mess, but it looks like France has got a bit of a low industrial power there, so maybe maybe I'll help them out. I'll call Mexico into the war and they'll have a few more labourers. Now, I don't want to say surprise attack, but uh, there's not many Germans stopping. Yeah, this is, uh, this is turning into a bit of an easy war, a bit too easy. Oh, and the Ottomans have capitulated. Uh, they, they tried, uh, I suppose. And just as I finally developed my first tanks, the war's basically over. I'm quite disappointed, actually. But we'll send them over just in case anyway. Oh, and uh, Germany's capitulated, and I've been white-pieced out. 
Um, um, excuse me? Oh, and they've joined the common to What? Oh, it's one of those. I don't get to actually take any land. I just... Uh, why? Why? What? what? <laughs> God damn it. Now, I feel like I should have been given a bit of land over there because, you know, I did just win the war, but the Allies have even kicked me out of their faction, which is... Brilliant. Well, Spanish-American War Volume 2 Electric Boogaloo, I'm gonna annex you. There's boom, there we go. Now, I've had to reload the save because every time I now restart, I get crashed to desktop, which is brilliant. So, unfortunately, we can't actually go any further than this, but... But, you know, it was fun invading the Spanish and the Mexicans and then getting, you know, winning the World War One, and then getting nothing from it. So I hope you enjoyed this video for what it was and uh, leave a like if you want to see more Hearts Vine and hey, give me a suggestion for a mod that's better.